Hello, good vibe. How are you doing? Your girl Esther Joy is going to be doing a paint with me. Um, I'm very excited actually to see what comes through just because I feel like it's been a while since we've done a little paint. Um, <laughs> uh, time. So we're gonna. That's just pain. It's pain, but it's, it's really painful. It's not as painful as pain. I'm sure we're going to be talking about some of the pains that are involved. Um, can you talk to the me? So, I wanted to, I don't have that many pages left in this journal. Um, this is my yearly commonplace book. And it has saved my life because it's just full of everything in the past year that has happened in 2022. You can't see it, but I did emboss the year. Uh, shout out to Von Larry and Dean for the stickers, by the way. It's actually been one of the many stickers that I've gotten to keep this book together because of the falling apart. I take it everywhere and that the pages, as you can see, it's just full. <laughs> um, there's a lot of tokens and tickets and stuff like that. And, um, I definitely want to paint. I did some drawings earlier today, and um, and these are just more so of, maybe I can zoom in and you guys can see that, are just hairstyles that I'm thinking of, um, you know, trying to think of what I want to do with my hair, I'm kind of liking this one, and doing a little candy cane action. So I wanted to take some time to, to flip through some pages of this book, reflect on it with you, uh, sh hopefully inspire you with your journal if you have a journal. Um, you know, this is just a, this journal itself is like five, <laughs> five to seven bucks at Walmart and um, it's, it's done me well. Now I actually have a couple of journals I bought on bulk on Amazon for like $15 for three. And, um, yeah, you don't need to go crazy on the journal itself. It's really about what you put in there. So I like to start off my journals by having the intention. This one just says it belongs to me with the intention to use this book for. And then I actually didn't put anything other than some burned charcoal on the side with 333. <laughs> so you can interpret that any way you want. Uh, ideas go here first. And and that's pretty much it, you know. I started off by just drawing a little doodle, and away we went. You can see it kind of like bled through. The pages were actually together. So the beginning of this book was really fun. And I just realized you probably could not hear a word I was saying because the microphone was behind me. <laughs> but um, you know, hopefully you can hear me a little bit more, and that is focused enough. So I met angels this year. Um, the soul family came down. They were like, hey, what's up? Yuri played a really big role in helping me tap into my past uh, lives where I remembered certain things like the war and, and um, where, you know, it's the, the angels were divided. So that was really big. Um, uh, and the big question was, what questions would you like to answer? I think that every life that we live in we have the opportunity to look more deeply into our own lives and find answers that we may be wondering and dwelling on. So that's something I'm really thankful that I had the opportunity to do more of. So yeah, that's that's a question. That's that's the tea over here. And I'm not going to go through all of these. I do want to kind of draw, you know, and, and paint and finish this. Um, but of course, here's a couple. This one, I was a little sad because my dog, I was outside and he ran on my book and he kind of dismembered some of these pages, but they're still there. They're still vibing. There were a couple poems in here when I uh, was invited to speak for um, Women's Month and, and I really wanted to, and I'll share this one. This one is... Uh, Standing, and standing says her essence can be felt from the vacuum of space, circling about in perfect lines that leave no trace. She sees a child grow from the dust of her ground. She hears a wolf's howl from the moon circling around. When one weeps, she feels their sorrow through the tears that touch her ground. 
Those that stand above, whose feet she doth save, will never know enough of the soul who's so brave to kindly hold your soul in her soil until you lay in the grave. And um, and then we had whomed, and and these two were kind of playing on. I was, you know, speaking for Women's Month at my school, and it was really interesting because I think the definition of woman these days has really branched out. And so I wanted to play around with that concept. The first one is Mother Earth, and the second one is really um, tapping into the womb and what it means to have a womb and to, you know, carry uh, like a queen bee that that literally manifests all of the workers and and lives longer than the workers has to watch them die, and that is their their service to the colony. This was just a whole bunch of questions that when I was getting into branding, I did a lot of consulting with friends and and new acquaintances, and I thought it would help to just write down as many questions as I could to understand uh, really what, what I was trying to help them with. So I asked a lot of questions like, who are you most excited to serve? Uh, what three sectors of life does your service assist in? Um, what channels are you using to connect to your audience? And I just had a whole bunch of questions I brainstormed so that I would have an idea of what to ask. The one I underlined in blue says, how are you involving other people in your brand? And I think that's a really important one um, because I'm a brand strategist and I am also an interaction designer. And I like that. Okay. Yeah, we're just, you know, some doodles. You know, forgive and forget. Live and let. Uh, reflecting. Saturday thoughts. Now, the thing is about this journal is that I didn't go in order. I actually had both sides of the journal done. Uh, they kind of just simultaneously. I, uh, one of the kids at my mom tutors and I babysit sometimes. She started drawing on the other side. So I started painting on the other side as well to kind of cover up some of the the, the bleed bleed uh, of the, the marker that she used on this first page. It really bled through a couple pages. So I just kind of used that to to paint how I felt about that and to just paint some more. Um, this is actually a to-do list. There's so much stuff here, but yeah, she drew in a couple more places. And it was fun because kids just are really creative. <sighs> There's a lot here. There's a lot here. Yeah, but God, give your, your son's body to surrender to your will so that my heart will be still. Again, some more angel uh, paintings because I was connecting more with my angelic roots and, and trying to understand and regrow my wings and that's what came through with that. Uh, these are some more paintings that actually have a a lot, a lot of transformation came through. And I, I kind of felt like I was becoming a butterfly. There's a lot of prayer um, of what do I need to do, what steps to take. And a lot of kind of confusion of, am I doing the right thing? Am I just waiting? What am I doing putting these lines and colors on paper? Maybe I'm a bit less human. That's a song I was listening to a lot. And um, shout out to this dude. So as you can see, I this is a community page. Sometimes I'll just bring my book and ask people to put marks in it so I can remember them. These are some questions I was asking myself about generating revenue. Um, how can I give God value? Uh, some drawings of my dogs. And then just what I would like to have by 20, um, 2005. Some of these drawings, if this is a doorway, there's a lot more. Join the Light Resonance Portal to hear about the tea with this door. It came through in a meditation and and really I just feel like having a commonplace journal has helped me a lot with understanding uh, my thoughts and taking time so I can really just be with them and I don't have to worry about oh is this maybe you guys can see that a little bit more 
Um, a little bit more. A little a wee bit more. A wee bit. Am I gonna... Whoa, whoa, whoa. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay. <laughs> Here I am trying to, like, see if I can get the the view a little bit better, but... Truth or lie hurts worst, honestly. Um, what can I do in 2022? <sighs> These are some self-portraits. I think I was sick during this time or something like that with some oil pastels. And oil past, uh, not even, this is just normal pastels. They're just it's dust, colorful dust. Um, we did do a figure study. This is like... <sighs> 15 different drawings of the same person on a page. Yeah. So. So yeah, I don't know how much drawing we're really going to do per se, but this is an idea for a pair of pants. This is a dream I had. This was actually done on my birthday, these two drawings, and, um, yeah, I, I don't have much I can say on them other than, like, I was struggling emotionally. Did I write anything? I did. Happy birthday. Self-portrait and some words. I was sad that day. I took the day alone and danced in the parking lot. Uh... Then May came, and, you know, I just wanted to get more into just creating little pieces of art for fun. And that was really fun. Um, yeah, all of these are were beautiful. So that's what happened there. I would take the shirt off my back for you. I, you can kind of see that, like, there's some words. Sometimes there are no words. Sometimes there's just these really intricate looking doodles of colors just washing together um really i just do whatever uh i feel this one says helping hands woe is me how even the smallest of moments have gained momentum to grow into what a wondrous state in this stage, before we turn the next page, we see that we can shed the thread of rage within your veins as we turn the page. Pray all day, pray always, pray through every word you say. Wow. Wow. What is good? Merry Christmas, Isaiah. Merry Chrysler. What's up, my sister? <gasps> Thank you. Thank you. Appreciate it. Okay, I'm going to use this soon sister just blessed me i'm about to do my hair guys so we gonna we gonna go through it and this is just homework i just have it in here it has like a little poop on the side got an a so that's nice um <laughs> uh yeah i think that a sketchbook should be a messy place where you find safety in a messy mind Willpower is finite. That's what that says. And then we have uh, this kind of matrix of motivational and ability. And motivation and ability, personal, social, structural. Something with a check your chakras, Danielle. It's actually a scene from my sister's graduation. I was just sitting there. Anyways, I feel like you probably can tell a lot from just looking at this. Um... This was from Atomic Habits. I was just journaling one of the prompts that they had there. This is uh, trees, you know. This is when I went out somewhere with my friend to the beach. And uh, this, these flowers are from a hike. It's, we got uh, Baby's Breath and Mountain Laurel. And um, I said, I'm accomplishing everything I never dreamed I could accomplish. I'm enjoying this life that God has given me to live as I am and I'm supported holistically and all I do to help the earth bringing balance to God and man I'm astonished how God answers my prayers and dispels my fears so that's what we got there again just random things man just shapes and scribbles this uh these are actually charcoal lines from a tree that looks so beautiful had to mark the paper I realized that time was going really fast, and I hadn't wrote in my journal for two weeks. 
And so that was me really reflecting on what happened in those two weeks. You know, I didn't really have any system to journaling. It wasn't like, I'm going to journal every day in the morning at 6 a.m. Uh, I just kind of brought my journal wherever I went. And when I felt like I had the time or I had a moment where I wanted to reflect, I would just draw. And here are some ducks um, at a pond I was at. And I noticed they had like this little blue, because they were, I think, female ducks or babies. They were ducklings. Uh, <laughs> I think, I think somebody, if you know how that goes, let me know. More about atomic habits. Um, what went well, what did not go well, and what did I learn? So that's atomic habits. And here's a flower. Again, I just started drawing things. You'll often see gum wrappers in here. And this one says, you can forgive yourself. Literally, that's what it says. You guys can even see that, though. Okay, you know what? Close enough. And I think there's actually a piece of gum that's, like, pressed down in the other side. Okay. <laughs> kind of gross, but it's there. So, uh, yeah. Eternal sight. Seek my might tonight. All right. Okay, everything is on. Show me their presence. God is with me for all of eternity. Ask for freedom and you shall be free. Do not fear. Surrender to the one trusting God. Um, this is my what, why, mini therapy. When I get upset, I ask myself why a lot more. You know, why is life like this? Um, what did I do to get here? stuff like that so uh sometimes i'll just I'll, I'll go through life love health money family friends school um adventure or other things and um i'll just kind of write about where i'm at right now and where i wish i would be i'd like to be okay this was me getting my life together i really felt like i was getting a little bit lost and i watched this youtube video um and i blogged about this page actually you saw me talk about it already in a past blog of getting my life together um where i am is okay the art of doing nothing and that is what i learned really yeah mary chrysler going through this i think has helped me a lot with i i literally witnessed and i wrote it down here a couple break up underneath this tree as i was painting the tree and i thought that was really interesting um, I was painting with this little paintbrush I had and, and, uh, some water from my water bottle that I put next to my, myself, and it was, it was a nice, it was a nice little day. These are flowers, trumpets. <sighs> my god, this was during a full moon in Aquarius, and, um, that drawing came, came to, to where it was, and thought about school journaled about school this was me really be feeling so much pressure and trying to figure out what to do mind me of the book of spider wick chronicles that's that's great bro uh this says see the finish line till i grind till i find what's behind that gold is mine and I was also panicking I just felt like I was doing so much and I wasn't doing enough and it was crazy and then actually the little girl who had, I won't say vandalized my book over here. Uh, shout out to Isaiah, but in the beginnings of the back, she decided to kind of draw something which I think mirrors over here. It's a flower, but I see like some of the resemblance. For me, it looks like a th eyes, a nose, and a mouth. Um, and I thought that was interesting as well. Yeah, we got some fun stuff. We got some things I forget about, like my own sentience. Uh, some more birds. Seagull. A seagull swallowed a seashell on the seashore. And that's that was came through in a meditation. And then a seagull kept staring at me for a half hour when I was at the beach after having this meditation. So I was like, dang. Um, senior project stuff. These are some of the first notes I took for it. You know, really taught thinking about technology, design, and problem solving. And then some imaginary birds, because I just, I don't know, birds this year have really gotten me. Alright, so now we're technically, like, kind of finding our way from the back of the book. So this was already done, and this is now going to the back of the book. Yeah, 
I got stung by a jellyfish. Uh, I gave my book to other people, and they kind of did what they will, created this kind of jellyfish-like um, drawings, which is really cool. <laughs> this says it's done like a bitch. It really did. Slow and steady wins the race. Yeah, we just have a lot of what's on my mind. Uh, I love doing brain dumps like this and visually drawing circles and putting what's in my mind. Right now I had tuition, money, environmental stability, jobs, creating things, my habits, school, uh, just my body in general. Those are some of the things that were on my mind. Um, these are just notes actually from astrological transits along with a to-do list. And this page is nice and blank and maybe we'll paint on this page. Right now it's been holding a chocolate bar wrapper that I've been cutting out because I like the foil and um, I've been using it to kind of just add fun stuff. This one has butterflies and... Yeah, yeah, I don't even know. <laughs> I don't even know. It's fun. This is Inktober, so I'm going to flip through this pretty fast. We had ghoul, we had mouse, we had um, shells, or it wasn't shell, but bat, um, matches, bouquet. You had trip, you had pear. Again, don't know why this bag is here, but we leave it. We go and leave it. Maybe I'll put all of this stuff inside that bag at the end of the, the year. Nest and crab. We had, I think, hawk. And I don't even know if that was point, armadillo. I think this was salty. Scrape. The donkey or stubborn. Hero, sick, task, booger, fairy. All of these were just prompts. This one I'm just gonna say is ego. Ego, and this one is shelter. Uh oh, I just put uh oh, and tool. And then I talked about farm a lot because I wanted, a f I want a farm. This is also just the prompt card. If you guys want to see that, that's where I'm basing Inktober off of, and that was Inktober 2022. I didn't do it every day. There were some days where I forgot or just simply just didn't have time. So I ended up kind of batching a couple of them and just doing them in a day to catch up. But I'm happy overall. The goal is always to just do 31 drawings at the end of the month. Okay, so then we had a uh, flu. I had the flu pretty much and I wrote about that. I drew about how I felt and and what that looked like for me. And we can only hope for what we want, is what this says. And, um, yeah, <laughs> it was a fun time. So I started getting more into drawing again. Um, I drew a few people that were just walking by. Little people, lots of soul, little pen, lots of stories. And um, I was just doodling, waiting for um, a club to start. There's a lot about compassion. I, I got to facilitate a meditation for cultivating compassion um and that was really fun and so these were just some of the notes i took because it does help when i'm leading a meditation for an organization to know what i'm talking about a little bit and mainly it's just clear collect connect and then compassion what's good you the man what's up but yeah this was beautiful and um this was a really good Good meditation. You will be okay always, is what it says. And it says, take a moment to feel it all as you breathe. Just breathe now. Okay, this was a really crazy time, guys. Um, where, what do I start? Um, the, <laughs> it says the threesome was a success. We're going to move on from there. Okay. <laughs> Um, and this is the mind tree. Again, a different kind of mind map. Just making circles and writing things in them. This one is, uh, there's a knot in my stomach. That's what it says. That's how I felt. And growing pains. So I just have this leaf here. On the other side, it says tired, angry, sad, glad, um, 
you know, invested, horrid, lost, sore, tender, lost, trying, lost, 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 trying to find myself. And yeah, it, these two are just kind of a reflection of this, this being. So here are the blank pages I have left. Oh god, I lied. They're not blank, but they're totally like on top of each other. You heard that. Oof. It's because there's white paint here. Ah! Great. Alright, well, there's a certificate. It's kind of ruined now, but that's fine. These things aren't meant to be in pristine condition. I got some stickers from a um an expo that I went to. And that was really fun. Again, this was a group page. I had people draw things on it. I like when people draw things. Because it's fun. And I get to look back and be like, oh, you know, somebody was here. Nothing is real, they said. I don't know what to write. Another person wrote. Oh my gosh. Yeah, you can see the wet paint really. It's quite interesting. <laughs> but I think this was a more recent painting that I just did to, to reactivate some old colors and get them on the page. And I like that a lot. I think that was fun. A success. This was so something that, there's actually, this says drift to the side, um, but so, ever so delicately and gently, you can barely see it. Okay. Yeah, all right, so this is talking about eco chamber. I'm thinking about the core. This is me journaling. <laughs> I think yesterday I did this or the day before and you can see maybe my drawings are just more messy. There's not many refined drawings. This was on the same day. Um, but the idea of playing the game keeps coming to my mind. Um, and this is just cutting the fluff, get to the bone, see what needs to go and what drives me home. Um, I've been, I'm, I talk a lot in fluff. There's a lot of fluff. So that, you know, yeah, I just have that. All right, this was literally done earlier today. And I kind of talked about it a little bit. I'm just getting ready to do my hair. And I like to draw out hairstyles. And it's just so much easier doing it in person. I also wanted to use my brush pen and I'm probably going to do some more. All right, so here's how many pages I have left for the year not many at all and that's totally fine um that's totally fine today was a big blessing in many um firstly it was a sunny sunday i was able to rest for the and falling fall so i was falling asleep when i was writing this um <laughs> this was like last weekend uh, i haven't really slept that much i just feel like oh thank you monk by the way i just had so much going on that i literally was journaling and i was falling asleep so i probably jolted awake a couple times and then fell back asleep so that's why the, the handwriting looks like chicken scratch it is quite literally because i was falling asleep while journaling <laughs> um and this is a really simple drawing that i like and i want to do maybe a series of you know you got the brain the heart and the guts and the three branches of health I, I don't know i thought it was fun i like the simpleness you know the line variation it's just this is fun i really like this drawing and it was so simple and it was like straight up no brainer um here we just have again i'm trying to use a gold foil more and try to incorporate it cut it into cool shapes and i liked that um, I thought it was simple and it was fun and just, you know, I like the texture and the color. I think it, it goes well together. Don't ask me what this is. I don't know. Um, here we have two great drawings. This one just says home. Home. And this one is uh, a poem. It says, what did I show? Well, you know, off the shoulder, they got to go, go, go past, go, collect 200. Don't you slow until you have time to blow. Say yes until you have to say no. Suck my toe. Oh, no, 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 no. Take the die and then just throw. Don't think twice. Just go with the flow. Plant the seeds and watch them grow just like the sun warms with its glow. Yeah. 
Of course, I used alcohol-based markers for the shading, and that does bleed to the other side. You didn't notice it on the other side because I didn't use it. I used paint for this one. I used India ink for this one, and I used marker for this one. So that's why we have this great kind of background look. Um, and I also drew my school buildings just because it was fun, you know? It was just, it's fun to draw wherever you are. If you have a moment where you're just sitting down and you don't have to go anywhere and you got your journal, might as well just draw what you see for a second. So I used a highlighter, a pencil, and this green felt tip pen to kind of draw what I saw. Okay, so this was, um... This was 11 7 2022. This was definitely during an astrological time. And I guess full moon was, or new moon, uh, was some of the moon was in, I believe, Libra. And um, yeah, I just started journaling. I, I've been working on just understanding the different astrological transits by writing them down, where they are, the houses that they're in, and you know, what they're interacting with so that's what I was kind of practicing just drawing that I wrote a couple you know things this says time is going at a rate I still seem to grasp like sand with a sieve no one seems to believe me in my dreams of what I've seen or think I think it's too scary to share or quite frankly they won't care so I'm here barely though before I have to go to the next thing if it's true, time is an illusion, then how do I bring everything in one moment to experience? It seems only when I'm outside with a pen do I start to think again, and then only does time stop. And um, and yeah, I think this is just like a testimony to how important it was to have this journal so that I didn't feel quite as crazy. And I could actually reflect and take a moment to see what was happening and it was like my ticket out of my own head and that really helped a lot um yeah you know this is just me talking about how my mind is a mess um just talking about my my worries with life um yeah it's just me freaking out in this page pretty much and feeling really depressed but here's a cute picture of a tree that i was painting while i was journaling and yeah there's that uh, this is another poem, and I have some tape around it because it says belief, emotion, action, results. And you got this little box here. This says stay inside the box, which is pretty interesting. This poem says my skin must be a sin. How even my own kin tell me to hide what I dwell in. My chest must never be bare. At least strange men stare my flesh gruesome sight that no man may see in light, for it is I I must hide away. Though in time I will decay, this body of mine was never to stay, and for being born human it is the price I pay. How silly to think it a sin to show the skin I dwell in. And that was just during a time where I was really struggling uh, <laughs> for stuff that was happening. Uh, yeah. So, the, there's, there's that. <laughs> always three simple steps oh boy so here we actually have some great uh cloud drawings which i liked i like to look up at the clouds and if i can just capture them before they disintegrate great what's up raymond i really like this painting because you know the sun started setting and i was trying to use and i'll just put this to a side for a moment tried to use like these shimmery paints and I just love how they came out because you just got the shimmery shiny paints I love it it's great I, this one has a little bit of a shine to it but you really I can't even see it so this one you can see a little bit more I'm trying to capture golden hour I think it's great so gotta see some chickens and definitely write your dreams down Raymond absolutely a hundred percent and if i tell you i go back and read my dream journal sometimes and i'm like holy shit these messages are so clear i wonder why i was confused um but yeah the chickens were great i got a feather here of one of the chickens they were posing for me they were chilling it was a bit difficult to draw chickens unless they were sleeping like this little guy here 
was. He was kind of chilling uh, because they move their necks so fast. So it's a bit difficult to, to get that, but it was really fun. How can I receive in three weeks? So I was really thinking about this, all right? I had a lot in my mind, and yeah, this is the beginning of school. The first day of school, I wrote down how I felt, and I, I was just in turmoil. I was like, God, why have you brought me here? Why am I doing this? But yeah, <laughs> yeah I'm here, and I'm happy. Uh, put your mind and time to it, and you will do it. Thanks, Will. That's great. All right, I went to um, a retro gaming convention, and that was really cool. So I just slapped that on here. And this was during a time where, you know, my brothers were going, everybody was going their separate ways, and I was just kind of depressed. So my mom told me to write down everything that I was thankful for and just praise the Lord for it, so I did. So here's a page of everything I'm thankful for. You know, thankful for my soul family. Praise the Lord. Amen. Thankful to you guys. Um, these are astrological questions. You can see there's like uh, Cancer and Lilith, Lilith and Cancer, Leo and the Sun, um, or Sun and Leo. I just Aries and Chiron and Aries. I just. Um, just put it on, uh, just started writing down a whole bunch of things and trying to, you know, formulate questions based off of astrological transits, which has been one of my favorite things to do. I think asking questions that go with the time is great. Uh, so what key do you hold to your identity? And that was um, Chiron and Aries that invoked that question. All right, this was in Albany. This was pretty cool. I really liked this. This was just lit. It was fun. This was a good time. I got to sit down and I got to just, you know, enjoy it. I really like this bread as well. This says living. That's it. What does, uh, what has teeth but cannot bite? Uh, the answer is a comb. And I used this stick to create this kind of mix of colors. And that's why it's here. Don't know why this is here, but we leave it there because it's a part of the expression of life. In fact, this stick was kind of like glued on um, to the page at one point because the paint dried, but now it's it's free. It's still in there. I really like this drawing over here because, I mean, it's it's like a cool scene. I sat there for like an hour and a half just drawing geese and ducks and watching them asleep and dive for food and groom themselves, and that was a really fun time. Um, I feel alive, this says. <laughs> I think about my present life and future endeavors, I suppose, scared to move away from my comfort zone, yet knowing that God is with me eternally through one way or another, and comfort can be constricting, especially when you want to grow, so change is in the wind. Change is definitely in the wind. All right. And I think you've seen this page before. This is, uh, you know, we've kind of went full circle. So you've seen all the pages. And I've seen them with you. <laughs> so I'm actually going to paint on the back of this. The reason why I'm painting on the back and I'm going to be using gouache is because, um, well, I used alcohol-based markers on not alcohol-based paper. And I knew it was going to bleed through, but I figured I'll just paint over it. And that's totally fine. So that's what we're going to be doing. So here we have our colors, our beautiful colors. Just, just you know, we'll zoom out a little bit. There we go. We'll give ourselves a moment. Now I kind of like the, I like the, the look of the. I'm gonna be honest, I do like that a lot. But it's time to paint. So we're gonna paint. Oh my god. Mm. Oh, aha! All right. So here we have our palette knife. I have some gouache. I reactivated and cleaned this gouache so it's all clean and, and smooth and ready to go. And um, when I'm painting, I don't have any method to madness. I like to take white first though, just because it's, whoa, ah, you guys didn't see that. I'm just gonna put that on palette. Honestly, okay, I'm just gonna take some of that smear it around 
and you can see why I'm smearing it around because I want to paint over what we have here so we'll get there we'll get there okay yeah <laughs> yes okay <laughs> all right so how do I want to do this I have some colors already on my palette as you can see not the prettiest looking palette it looks kind of muddy but it will do, so I kind of have this one color. I just try to get the primary colors and go from there. So I'm going to take some yellow because that's the next lightest color. Um, and I'm just going to put it on the palette like that. What other colors do I want? Do I want blue? I'm going to take blue and I'll mix it with the yellow. I don't feel like... I want to make my own. Okay. And what else? Do we want a little bit of red? A little bit. Just to use red with like this pink, but we'll take it. Maybe no, that's good. We want to take a little bit of brown to muddy everything up. I like brown. I like it because it can make things a little bit more earthy. So we'll add that with the yellow. Alright. So now we're gonna go ahead and Grab our paintbrush and get ready to do some painting. Can I put my microphone to like keep the page down? Can you guys still hear me? Is a real question. Well, you know that's okay. All right. So we're gonna go ahead. I have my fish in water that looks actually really muddy. This is nasty water. Okay, nasty. We're gonna just clean around the sides a little bit. To make the water a little less yucky and to take my fish out I'm just gonna you guys can see I'm literally just gonna wash my fish um don't worry about it just, just don't worry about it he needs a good washing he's my he's my painting friend but I know that if I wouldn't let my fish stay in this water then I'm not gonna do it so a uh, quick painter tip I actually have two cups of paint water I have a dirty paint water and I have a clean paint water I'm gonna just pour this in there and get some more water Ooh, yucky you can kind of see stuff floating around there just paint particles so so that's our paint that's our first paint and we're just gonna get some clean water for our fish which is flopping around I'm sure Yeah! Okay, there we go. That's some clean water. Put in the fish. Now we got a good fish in there. Alright, that's a fish. <laughs> so this is where we clean our brushes after we put in the dirty water. And that way you don't contaminate the colors on your paint palette. Okay, let's get it. This is gonna be fun. This is gonna be a fun one. Okay, guys, this is gonna be a fun one. I think it's going to be a fun one anyways. Hopefully you enjoy it as much as I will enjoy painting. Alright. Alright. Put that there. Put that there. Good stuff, Judah man. I'm hope happy you can hear me now. Alright, so do I have any idea what I'm going to do to this page? I know I want... I'm actually going to use black. No, Esther, what do you mean you're going to use black? That's going to be so chaotic. So when you're doing gouache or you're doing watercolor, it is good to use a darkest color first and be sparing with it. The good thing about gouache is that it's like water acrylic paint. So you only need water to activate it and it's thicker than watercolor. So you can cover it up and that's pretty cool. So what are we doing now? What are we doing? Guys, when I paint, uh, I don't, uh, I used to have an idea of what I was painting before. But now I just kind of let the brush and the colors lead me into expressing however I feel. And and that's that's how I paint now. <laughs> I think also because of all of the different things I've done with color theory and color therapy and, and just getting more into uh, the, the shapes and the textures and the colors, I am more interested in the repetition of lines than like, oh, does this look like a, a bike? 
does this look like a dog? Now it's more like, does what does this feel like? Um, what energy centers are present? So my painting has really shifted a lot, I would say, in the past, in the past, uh, in the past year, two years. I used to paint really more realistic things, more practical things. I had a lot of fashion illustrations, but like, now we just do whatever, man. Do whatever your heart, my heart, I guess, it, it feels led to do. It, for me, it's more about just a process of putting marks on the page and having fun with the, the things that I'm using to make those marks than the, oh, is this going to look like a boat when I'm done? You know, will people know it's a boat? <laughs> will people, some, does this come off as how I want it to come off? And now I'm just kind of, you know, we just vibe. We just do what we feel led to do. I've been fascinated with blending colors, so I'm going to probably blend some of these colors together. And it's going to be very, very fun. Ah, you want some ASMR? I do Lately, I'll be whispering when I'm painting alone. Of course, I don't talk out loud, but um, I will talk to the painter. I will be like, I like a little bit of blue right there. That's great. And just curve it a little bit. Just add a dot. And that's fine. And I think what's really encouraged me with developing on my art journey has been creating energy portraits for people that I I appreciate, um, you know, and they give me permission to create an energy portrait. I'm able to create an energy portrait, and a lot of the times for me, that energy portrait is is me tapping into what their soul looks like and feels like to me, and and displaying that through colors and marks on the page. So I quite quite enjoy it a lot. I like it a lot. I'm also going to try to clean up my palette, so sometimes I'll just do a painting because I have certain colors that are on there that I don't want to like throw away and wash off the palette, so let me just figure out a way to in incorporate them in whatever I'm doing. So you will see me do that a little bit. Just use some more muddyish colors, and we'll get to the, the brighter colors in a second. Right now we're just going ahead and we're going ham. We're going ham, guys. We're going ham. Yeah, let me just get it so you guys can show you what we're doing as best as you can. I know that the shine of the light maybe looks like a little bit intense. Oh god, now it's intense on me. But yeah, it doesn't really matter. You know, we're just kind of making a underlay. So I like to have fun with this, and this is already just so you can see what the other page holds. This is how I get the most out of my pages. I only have so many pages left, guys. The year's almost over, though, so I'm, I'm quite happy that I was able to show and share with you what we have so far, what we're doing, all of that good stuff. That's a nice blend. I'm really liking the blend side of these things. I'm liking it. It's quite nice. Ah. So we're gonna try to get some of this. The vibes. Sometimes you know, I'll feel led to still do a scene. Um, I want to do more botanical illustrations next year. Absolutely. Um, I've been collecting leaves from different plants and labeling them so that, you know, and branches, samples from the, pr the plants so that I have a better idea of what to do when I'm chemist with that. But we're not there yet. We're not there yet. Um, but yes, next year, hopefully you guys will see a lot more, uh, beautiful botanical drawings and paintings of trees and plants. Right now, I'm, I'm very much enjoying the, the looseness of the abstract. I don't have to think too much. 
and I can just trust that, yeah, the colors are going to go where they need to go. I don't have to worry about it too much. I can just, I can just trust. Yeah, they're going to go where they need to go. And so that's what we're doing right now. Just take them a little bit at a time. If the yellow's a bit stiff and I'm like destroying the yellow, kind of muddying it up. I don't really want a very vibrant yellow for this. Ooh, let's get some green in here. I remember when I was taking art in high school. I was taking like a basic general ed um, like uh, art class. And one of the assignments were mixing colors. You know, primary colors and mixing them. And there was a couple people that actually cheated. They didn't want to mix the colors or they didn't know how or maybe just the pressure of being tested and if you knew how to mix uh, purple was too much. You know, I thought that was something kindergarten would do. Um, but I, I, it, I think it's given me more appreciation to the idea of color mixing and, and getting to, to just use all of these pigments to create something quite fun. Of course, this is looking a little crazy, but I'm kind of liking it. And I'm trying to be really light with the water, not use too much, because you can see it's starting to like wrinkle a little bit. Not that I care. You, you've seen this book, and you've seen it, that there are lots of different things in here. Even a, apparently a piece of gum, which is quite interesting. So I'm not too worried about any of that. Alright, so now we'll just go and do that and do that. Okay, that's looking good. I want to do a little bit of blue and a little bit of red. And a little bit of blue blue water. Just to make blending easier. Alright, alright. Uh -huh. So now we have our underlay done. This is our underlay. And you can see in the little areas that, oh, you can still see the marker, like, around here. But that's okay, because we're going to go over with another round and do some more. So, <laughs> yay. Thumbs up. Thumbs up. Looking good. I've been enjoying doing these longer lives just because I feel like there's less pressure but I have a lot of ideas for shorter videos that I'm excited to do um, such as really evaluating what it means when people say the world's gonna come to an end I think there's lots of different ways that we can take this and um, I've been meditating on it and hopefully we'll be making a video about it in divine time but that's been one of the things that i definitely am looking forward to making a video about so some of these colors right now are they're doing pretty good i'm just gonna take like a drop of water and like this white is hard it's not too hard but it's not too malle malleable and i would like to use it so i'm just taking like my palette brush, uh, not my palette brush, my palette knife. I'm just going to go ahead and incorporate a little bit of water. Of course it's no longer pure white. It never was. Um, let's turn it over. Yeah, we're just trying to mix that around a little bit. Alright. There we go. So what I like about this kind of way of creating art is that there's no right or wrong, first off, and it uses your paint in a resourceful way, but it also is just so fun. It kind of gives you a challenge of, oh man, I only have these colors that I'm using. I'm going to change my brush and use like a more, like what, a cylindrical brush, a round brush. I was using like a um, a flat brush before, which was great, uh, great for laying down the foundation. 
bowl. But now we're going to go ahead and we're going to get some more details in. So we're going to use this brush. Wet your brush before so that the brush is easier to clean. Okay. Alright. So if I if I play around too much with this paint right now, it will become gray because gouache never really dries. You can always reactivate it with water. So keeping that in mind, you don't want to play around or push the pigment too much once you put it on the page. Okay. Unless you want to blend it, which I like blending. Uh, but it depends how much water you have and what exactly you want to get on that. Um, I want to get some more of this beautiful reddish and magenta. Get that in there. And lighten it up a little bit. Lighten it up. And we're getting a little bit of motion with these colors. <laughs> so I feel very thankful that I can sit here for a moment and paint with you and, and just kind of, you know, of course I've been reflecting a lot over the past year. But also just, uh, it, for me, I've, again, kind of lacked the confidence when it comes to creating take it seriously even though it's something I I love doing and um, you know going into the next year it's something I'm gonna be exploring how can I share this love of art with the world what does that look like does it look like sharing paintings does it look like sharing uh, lessons or workshops and um, yeah I'm excited to see what that looks like um, I'm excited to see what I create Sometimes I'm like, man, my art has totally, like, it looks so much different than how it once looked when it was more realistic and, and maybe um, more appeasing to some people. But I truly enjoy this so much. Not saying I didn't enjoy creating realistic pieces, or I don't, because I still love, you know, drawing landscapes and doing more geometrical drawings. But God, it, there's just something about the beauty of just of playing with the page and playing with the paint. Good afternoon, the way we're winter. What is good, my friend? Good to see you out here, bro. My thumbs up. So yeah, we're just using a little bit of water and a ton, activating that yellow. The yellow's kind of mixed in with the other colors, and we haven't used the brown. I thought that I would want to muddy the colors more, but I feel like the blending has done a great job of muddying up the colors. And I do want to have a couple, a couple kind of ripples. And it's so fun. One thing I will say is that I'm learning that creating art isn't about getting it right, but it's about being present with what you're doing um, you know your feelings if you're, you're painting based off of feelings or the colors if you're painting based off of colors or textures or or you know if you're painting your dog it's about being present with your dog and that's helped me a lot with with accepting like yeah i like to paint i like to create and it's okay and i don't have to feel guilty about it a big part of me felt like, well, painting is useless, it's not helping anyone, the world's coming to an end, so why am I picking up a brush and just making random, <laughs> you're so funny, wayward, you're so funny, bro, um, just making random marks on the page. And I think that, again, with the idea of the art of doing nothing, I always feel a sense of like accomplishment and joy when I finish a painting and it's almost like whatever I was feeling it the painting embodies that and it no longer is with me and it's like it, it releases it into the wind where I can then again kind of have space to feel more things and to process more things and create more art and it is totally okay to 
<laughs> maybe not even like my art or not not know why I'm creating. I don't think I have to like I've done commissions for like um different organizations. And that's cool and all, but I don't think everything you create has to have a purpose that is so intentional. And this is coming from somebody that's like, set an intention when you sit on the toilet. Like, when before you eat your food, set an intention for how you want to digest it. Before you drink water, make sure that you let the water know how much you love it and program it with an intention. And that's cool and all, but when it comes to painting, for me, it's like the safe haven where, oh my gosh, I don't need to set an intention all the time. Sure, like, if I'm doing an energy portrait, I do like to set the intention, of course, for who I'm making that portrait for, because uh, I think that's important uh, to, to have the focus. But right now, when I'm just painting, I don't need an intention. I can trust that my brush is going to do exactly what it needs to do, and it's going to go exactly where it needs to go. And I, it's almost like a show that I get to watch myself create. I get to see the colors blend, and I get to see how everything is strewed together. And that is, it's fantastic. It's like, whoa. Before you know it, you have something that you never saw before. And, and it's there. And you created it. By just sitting down and giving yourself time and trusting the process of, okay, I'm going to sit down, I'm going to create something, and voila, at the end of the day, you trust yourself and you create something that you've never seen before. And that's so fun. That is so fun. I'm enjoying this process a lot. I think it's, it's coming along pretty well. Feeling led to just add some, some kind of spontaneous right here spontaneous triangle for me simple shapes have been really big I'm not gonna go around on a rant about hexagons but they've also been really big in my life um, and we'll talk about that I'm sure in divine time good viper <laughs> but yeah, I think that I, I really just want to encourage you to create, and I shared my whole journal with you to, sh to so that I could also kind of go through this process of reliving the whole year together and, and seeing, you know, these were the things I felt, this is what I remembered, and this is what, you know, what came through. And I'm so thankful that I documented some of those things. The things that I really, honestly, in the moment, probably didn't care about or I shouldn't say I didn't care about, but didn't see the value in them. Uh, but now looking back, I'm like, wow, I'm so happy that I wrote that down. I'm so happy that I had that thought and I decided to document it in some way. And I'm telling you, when I look through my old books and I see the things I write, it just gives me a sense of comfort. It gives me the sense of, wow, I can rest easy, actually. Like, I don't need to freak out about, oh, I'm not where I should be. Or, oh, I don't know what I'm doing. I look back at what I've written down, and it's almost like what I write down sometimes it will be like, Esther, don't freak out. If you're reading this, it's okay. You're on the right track. Just keep doing what you're doing. You are so loved. And, you know, remember what you're here to do. And I'm like, okay, great. <laughs> you know, if I didn't write that down, and I'd at that point like I, I'm at the point where I have to start releasing things like I don't have space simply for everything um, and so honoring my old books and old written works is just by reading them and acknowledging them and being like yeah that was something that we decided to write down and that message was received and it really makes me realize how much I pay attention to uh, certain things that I'm thankful I pay attention to, like God, and, and love, and light, and joy, and peace, and all the beautiful vibrations. And it's just that divine reminder that sometimes we need, as many times as we're reminded, having a journal has helped me remember this again and again. Yes, I'm going to forget, but yes, there is, it's beautiful, and it's a blessing, and it's awesome. Yes, it's so beautiful. Oh.
And you can see, like, every time I paint, like, when I just start going with the flow, I love the rhythm that's created in the, in the drawings and the paintings because it's just like, whoa, this is so, I can see the rhythm and I'm loving it. I'm really enjoying it. This here looks like a well here a little bit, <laughs> and I'm kind of liking that. Kind of liking that for you. <laughs> so it's good. Maybe we'll move to the well. <laughs> um, yeah, it's been so fun. You don't know what you're making until you just keep going, and then eventually you're like, whoa. Whoa. <laughs> and that's what was happening the whole time. So for me, painting is this process of allowing myself to just give it up and come back and, and trust in the process because I don't know what I'm going to create a lot of the times when I start painting. But then I end up with this like really cool piece of work that I know has never been created and is now here because I decided to take a, a sit and now it's here. And I don't know, it just makes me really happy. And I love it. <laughs> oh my goodness. This has been quite fun. Guys, I am really looking forward to next, uh, you know, this upcoming year because your girl is going to be creating more energy portraits. We're on that. I'm sure in divine time, I've been collecting the materials and I'm very excited to like give myself an outlet to paint people and connect with them on that level oh it's lovely but also just creating more art in general uh, I feel really thankful I'm a visual person and I love creating art I love the process of putting the mark on the paper it's so beautiful you guys you feel me you feel me oh my god it's beautiful so yeah, I just wanted to remind you to to create and to journal and to look at your old journals if you haven't because there might be a message from your past self that's waiting for you to find it again. You know, maybe you've written a letter to your uh, to your future self and now it's time to read it. But that's kind of the vibes I'm getting, okay? I'm just I'm just vibing. I'm just really enjoying this. Oh my gosh, guys, what I tell you. Oh, it's beautiful. I mean, this painting is all right, but just the process itself is beautiful. And when you are in love with the process and the journey more than the product, I think that's where you know you're doing what brings you joy in life and you're you're on your you're doing your life's work. It's not really about the results. At the end of the day, as much as you enjoy doing the thing that you're doing, whether that is programming, making music, singing, uh, running, you know, talking to people. It's about the joy that you find in doing that thing. And I am really enjoying this and talking to you and just sharing this company in this moment. Yay! Ah, I think we're almost done. I'm going to just add a few finishing touches and to clear the rest of this paint. Okay, this triangle is definitely getting a little bit too wet for me to add anything else. Uh -huh. Okay, okay, okay. Beautiful. Oh, my heart right now is so full of joy. Alright. Another recap. Guys, this is wonderful. I just feel so thankful. Like, I don't know, painting for me, it just, it, like, it's so refreshing. Again, it helps all the energy that I may be holding on to gives me a place to dump it. <laughs> gives me a place to kind of give a uh, platform to how I feel, what I think, even if I don't have the words. Because I'll be honest, guys, sometimes I disassociate from how I feel 100%. You know, I get overwhelmed by feelings that, like, the world coming to an end, like, that's okay. I can, you know, I feel like I'm more prepared for that than just, like, some normal human interaction, which I tend to overthink. So, with that being said, painting has really helped me um, during the, the process of painting. I have this moment of silence where it's like, well, let me think about this. Let me really take a moment to be present with how I feel.
I'm loving this. This is just so much fun, guys. It's so much fun. And you saw the process. I have no method to my madness. Or I do. But I'm still learning about it. And the biggest part of the method is trusting in the process. Even if you don't know what the process is. And that's uh, that's my life lesson to you. And I hope that you uh, take this wisdom <laughs> and you apply it to your own life. Especially as you transition into this new life. There we go. Oh my gosh, no one was there. <laughs> I like that. Well, thank you, beautiful soul, for joining us. There we go. There we go. There we go. There we go. And I like to use my fingers too. I'm a finger painter, gals. Maybe next year we'll have like a little good vibe or paint workshop. Everybody just comes through, they take whatever art supplies they want, and we just vibe for a little bit, you know. I want to shake things up in the Discord a little bit, you know, do some some workshops, some activities <laughs> where we can get something feasible from. Whether that is a clear idea of what to do with our week. Or just a piece of art that we've made that really embodies certain energy. I think that either way, it's beautiful. Yay! Okay, I'm gonna say that that's done for now, or at least I want the paint to dry before I do any more. I might add like a little bit of um, like silver <laughs> once it dries. For fun, but you can see that we're literally like this is just a very this painting is all movement. It's all just movement, and that's a big, a big thing. I'm just allowing myself to move with the flow. Go with the flow. You already know what to do, and that's a beauty. So this is how I clear my paint palette, though. I'm gonna show you real fast. So we got this paint. We got paint everywhere. I'm gonna start with the darker colors first. Adding extra water and uh, just transferring it to my page. This is why you see a lot of my pages look like this. I use it like I was using a napkin, but it's cooler. It, it looks cooler than a napkin to me, anyways. All right, we add a little bit of water. Do a little bit of a dry brush. Kind of getting these different colors on there, and this is me just kind of cleaning my palette, so it's a lot easier to 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 actually wash off. Nobody has to do this, but it's kind of a challenge, um, and it's like the best no pressure way of painting because you don't really care what you put on the page. You're just going for what what feels right, um, or wherever you want to deposit the colors. And I think this has helped me a lot because I see with people sometimes that are more perfectionists when it comes to painting or creating, like they get so in their head and it has to look a certain way and it has to, you know, be a certain thing. I had a friend once spend like two hours trying to do a self-portrait and they kept on erasing it. Like they kept on erasing the lines. So at the end of the day, they had one eyeball with a whole bunch of gray eraser lines around it. And so the moral of the story is make mistakes fast. And uh, I'm learning this in life. Like I want to develop an app and I know I'm going to make mistakes. So I'm not even going to worry about trying to get it perfect. I just need to start and things will pop up and that's totally okay. So just go with the flow and you'll be all right. Okay, we're also painting this corner right in here. <laughs> Don't mind me, I like to paint my I like to paint everything. Paint it all. Make it all beautiful. <laughs> Good. Oh yes. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh, sorry guys. I don't know if you wanted ASMR. As <laughs> close as we're getting to ASMR. Ooh. Yes. And, and I get so excited, even though, look at what I'm doing. Like, what is this? For me, this is a great backdrop for when it dries. I can just write 
with black ink and I can write how I feel. You know, I don't have to draw a picture if I don't want to. Like, that's not the, the purpose. Biggest thing when you're using water-based paints on paper that's not made for watercolors is um, making sure that you don't oversaturate the page so it doesn't get super wrinkly. And in this way, any paper can be watercolor paper. Um, but yeah, you still want to be careful. You don't want the, the page to start pelting. Like, you can already kind of see that texture. Like, it starts getting grainy. That's when you know, okay, I'm not going to, like, agitate it too much more than I have to. Okay, the last color that that's really on here, I'm going to try to figure out where I want to put it, is brown. Yeah, you can see I kind of cleaned my palette. This is how I clean my palette. This is literally what I do to clean my palette. And then I would just would take a little paper tissue with some water and I can wipe it off and it's clean. But yeah, we have like this, this middle kind of brown situation going on. It's super dry, so we're just trying to reactivate it. Kind of do the best that we can. Just mixing, mixing, mixing. Trying to get any lumps. We also have like a little bit of a magenta lump and a little bit of a blue lump. But if the lumps aren't attached to the palette, I'm not like. I'm not dying if they get washed away. And yeah, just paint whatever your heart desires. Right now, I'm kind of desiring to paint a square. Uh, there's a square on the side of the square. Let's make the square a little bit bigger. And this is too big. Okay, we'll take it. We'll take it. And that will do. That will do. It's actually a little bit square more. One more square. I like it. <laughs> Better than Gary Jenkins. You're funny, Raymond. You are funny. Thank you. Um, I'm gonna need to look up Gary Jenkins now. <laughs> okay. Wow. All right. Yeah, guys. Look at that. Look at that. We done. We have done it. Ooh, I'm gonna zoom out for a second there. You know, let things adjust. Take a moment to appreciate this. Yes, I'm wearing a Starbucks apron. No, I've never worked at Starbucks. That's besides the point. Don't ask me how I got it. It's just nice. If I paint and get messy, it just keeps everything clean. And that's what we've been doing. But yeah, I think that this is good. We're going to let it dry. I might do a little bit more line work stuff. And if I do end up posting this anywhere it will be on my art account on jukebox.jpg and i will shamelessly plug myself in there because <laughs> well if you like art and you want to see more art that i create that that looks like a scratch head um then i will gladly share it with you this is what we got guys this is what we have created on the line together you guys have to make it happen and you have to be so happy about it. And I think it came out pretty good. Okay. I think it came out pretty good. Wow. Wow. I do like. Yeah, this is our Paint With Me episode. And if you want to follow me, I juice dot bot. Nope, nope. It's actually just juicebox.jpg. Yeah, these are our arts 
and this is what it looks like. Let's see if I can get a better shot before we close today's uh, live stream. Yeah. Oh, yeah, they're even focusing. They're even zooming in. Okay. There's me finding where the camera is. Guys, that looks like too striking. Yeah, this is what it looks like today. I like it. I kind of see you move now, but it's creepy. Hold on. Oh, I like this. I think it's too much. Too true. It reminds me of a well. The tears spill into space. And all the imbeciles are there. That's a key. And this? This reminds me of a house. <laughs> but we'll see. We'll probably have some fun with some paint markers after it dries. But it needs to dry. So I'm going to let it dry. I'm going to go take some time and spend the rest of the holidays with my family. Thank you so much for joining. I hope that you enjoyed this paint with me. Uh, live stream. I really did enjoy spending some time with you just talking about the process and sharing a little bit about my life and what's going on and really just sharing you this book which is like my personal bible. <laughs> um, yeah, I appreciate it. I hope that this inspired you to create something, okay? Doesn't need to be painting. It can be uh, music. It could be just a, a rock that you like. You just find a way to admire and be present with it and to um amplify the beauty of that presence okay thank you so much for joining i hope that you enjoyed this and i will see you in the next live slash video in divine timing okay guys uh so much love thank you for tuning in create something and enjoy some time with your family friends and loved ones god bless Stay. Yay.